the government of India has placed another order for 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets for the Indian Air Force. But do you know what the MK-1A means and how is it different from the baseline Tejas or the other versions of Tejas? The Tejas program is India's progressive aircraft family under the Light Combat Aircraft Project, evolving from initial Mark 1 through Mark 1A and moving toward the more capable Mark 2. Each variant shows increasing sophistication in airframe, avionics, armament and survivability. The Tejas Mark 1 was the first operational version. It is a single-engine, multi-role, lightweight fighter powered by the General Electric F404 GEIN20 turbofan. The airframe is mostly metallic with limited composite sections. It carries a standard complement of hard points for air-to-air -air missiles, short-range infrared or imaging IR seekers, a 23mm cannon, unguided bombs or rockets and can load external fuel tanks. Its avionics include a digital fly-by-wire flight control system, glass cockpit with modern instrumentation though not fully up to cutting-edge display types, radar, legacy multi-mode not EASA in earliest production, modest electronic warfare EW capability and defensive countermeasures. Range and payload are constrained, its combat radius is lower and with external stores, its drag and weight penalties reduce performance. Mark 1 was adequate for replacing older MiG-21s and for clear air support or interception in less contested airspace but has limitations in beyond visual range, BVR engagement and in sustained penetration in hostile, well-defended zones. Mark 1A refines the Mark 1 in many important respects. The configuration retains the same basic airframe, single engine and many of the aerodynamic features of Mark 1 but introduces enhanced avionics, most notably an active electronically scanned array radar, initially ELM2052 by Alta Systems which improves detection, tracking and resistance to jamming. The digital warning receivers or radar warning equipment have been improved as has the electronic warfare suit giving better survivability. Weapons compatibility is expanded. Support for indigenous Astra beyond visual range missiles, more advanced short range missiles like ASRAM, precision guided munitions, smart bombs, laser guided bombs and external self-protection jammer pods are part of the MK-1A upgrades. Mid-air refueling capability is supported or being integrated enabling longer missions. Mark 1A also emphasizes maintainability, modular components, improved diagnostics, access to systems for ground crew, reduced turnaround time, better serviceability. Moving to Tejas Mark II, this represents a more ambitious leap. It is often called a medium-weight fighter rather than just a light one. The Mark II is expected to use the more powerful General Electric F414 INS engine, offering more thrust, about 98 kN wet thrust versus about 84 kN for the MK1's engine, which allows higher payloads, higher maximum takeoff weight MTOW, and better climb sprint performance. The airframe is larger with increased internal fuel capacity to improve range radius without relying only on external tanks. Payload is much heavier, reports suggest maximum payload around 6,500 kg weapons plus external fuel etc. and more external hardpoints plus capability to carry heavier missiles including long-range standoff weapons, potentially air-to-ground missiles such as Brahmos and G, more robust air-to-air -air missiles like Astra etc. and multiple weapon stations. Avionics are significantly upgraded, an indigenous Uttam EASA radar, infrared search and track sensor, radar warning receivers and an advanced electronic warfare suit. Cockpit design moves toward fewer switches, large area or touch displays, better ergonomics with hands-on throttle and stick, hot ass, better display head-up or holographic and multifunction systems. On the survivability side, more use of composite materials to reduce radar cross-section, to lighten structure, better stealth-compatible shaping, improved signature reduction, perhaps also better heat management. First prototype is expected around 2026 with service induction toward late 2020s into 2030. Mark II is intended to replace several legacy aircraft, Mirage 2000, MiG-29, Jaguars in the Indian Air Force. Some overall comparisons. Mark 1A versus Mark 1 gives significant gains in radar, EW, weapons flexibility, payload and combat radius remains somewhat modest though improved. Mark II aims to push into much better payload range envelope, improved avionics or sensors, improved survivability, and more future-proof capabilities like sensor fusion, data links, and networked warfare so it can operate in more contested environments. One recent development, a large contract has been signed for 97 Tejas Mark 1A jets to begin deliveries from 2027. The first Mark 1A prototype or limited series production aircraft has flown. In terms of limitations, even Mark II will likely face constraints relative to heavier or stealth-designed aircraft. Internal weapon bays are not fully confirmed in all reports, and stealth is more signature reduction rather than full stealth. Also, maintenance, production ramp-up, supply chains for high-tech components will remain challenges.